Welcome to EuroLinux installation demo. EuroLinux is an enterprise Linux operating system suitable for servers, but also available as a workstation with GNOME or KDE desktop environment. In this video, we'll go through installation process after obtaining installation image from customer portal. Firstly, we need to prepare a bootable installation media. We can do so by burning an ISO image onto a DVD disk using our preferred software. Alternatively, we can make a bootable USB drive. Multi-platform Belena Etcher software is recommended to achieve this. If we're running Unix-like system, we can also make a bootable USB drive using DD command. To begin with, list block devices to check USB storage name. In our case, it will be a 32GB USB drive under dev SDA. Next, using dd command, copy Eurolinux ISO image onto the pen drive. Please note that running this command will overwrite all data on the USB storage, so it is a good practice to double check if we chose the proper device. Our installation media is ready to use, so we can proceed with the installation process. After booting the computer from our media, a list of options that our ISO is capable of will appear. It is recommended to check for data integrity before installation. After the test has finished, we'll be presented with graphical interface. Firstly, we need to choose installer language. All installation settings are configured using this clean, simple and concise interface. Let's start with time and date configuration. We can select proper time zone by clicking on the map. After that, we can configure what languages and keyboard layouts will be installed. Let's select Polish alongside the English one. Next, we can choose what software we would like to install. There are several groups available that bundle most popular use cases. In our example, we want to set up a web server. After selecting the main group, on the right side we will be presented with more subgroups that we can choose additionally. Next, we need to choose where our system will be installed. We have an option to use a guide or do it manually. Data encryption is also available. Now we can proceed by clicking on Begin Installation button. During installation, last thing we need to take care of is setting up an administrator password and creating new users. After installation has finished, we can remove installation media and reboot computer to access the freshly installed operating system. For more information about this operating system, please visit our website euro-linux.com/eurolinux. Thank you for watching this brief demonstration.